Then the other day about finances and visions. And I said, if you don't have money, you can't fulfill vision. A young man stood up and said, no. Jesus fulfilled vision by power. <laughs> I said, no problem. You are still naive. When you start one, you will understand. You are talking now because you don't have a vision. When you start one, you will understand that power has different names. One of the names for power is finance. <laughs> In Luke chapter 8 verse 3, the Bible said, women and some of them were widows jesus was taking money even from widows <laughs> widows women gave to sponsor jesus's vision why did he take it it's not because he needed it it's because if he doesn't take it they will not be empowered because what you cannot give you can't receive the capacity to receive is tied to your capacity to give and that's why you see that universally anybody that has authority in the corridor of finances is a giver to a very large extent even those who are not in the kingdom go and check most of the charity firms in the world you will find that big philanthropists are most of them are big givers because they understand that this principle is universal Does somebody heard me talk about prosperity and they say oh even this one has fallen Kai. We thought it will last. <laughs> uh, uh, even this one has fallen. Oh God, keep your servants, keep your servants. The remaining one, let them not fall. He <laughs> said, I started following you, but now I'm disappointed. Oh. <laughs> I said, don't worry. Don't worry. You have not read well. And you are not doing anything worthwhile. By the time you start doing something that is global, you will come back and have a discussion with me. Hallelujah.